So a message here from Ray in Abokobi. Now he says, I need a little help. I'm in a, in a relationship with this pretty lady. We've been dating for almost a year now, but really having issues with her ex. This guy keeps contacting her and threatens to commit suicide and all that. According to my lady, the guy is married and has two kids, but didn't tell her. And that forced her to break up with him. But the guy keeps insisting that he's divorced his wife just to be with her. Just last week, the guy drove all the way to see my lady's mother to plead. And according to my lady, she broke up with him a year ago. But this guy just doesn't want to give up. How do I deal with this situation? Huh. Oh. Hmm. First yeah. of all, um, okay, so th his, his woman didn't know that her ex was married. With kids. With kids. She found out. She found she out. Left. She left. That's the story that he knows, mm. right? This guy is still contacting her. She claims she doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I would say is that if truly that's the way the cookie crumbled, she didn't know that this guy was married with kids, she left him, she's with you now, and it's, it's I mean, because if somebody is threatening to commit suicide on your account, that's scary. That's emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. And that's criminal. I say you should go to the police. If that's really where, and, and well, that's really what's happening, mm. you should go to the police. You can get a restraining order in Ghana, just like anywhere else. Um, if you feel as though you need security, if, if you need to take this guy to court, whatever it is, mm -hmm. do it. Because at this point, he can come and kill all of you in your house. He actually went to your, 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 your girlfriend's mother to go and beg. You should be scared. If, if the story is really what As it is, is mm. or what they're saying it is, then you should be scared. I have seen a girl hold a knife to her neck in the presence of my mm. friend because he said he doesn't want to be with her anymore. Oh, Lord. And you don't need that kind of pressure on you. You don't need those images living with you forever. If it's really what they say it is, go to the police before it's too late. Because I'm telling you, this guy can come and burn your house down. Mm. You'd be asleep and before you realize, yeah. you're, you're a statistic. <laughs> yeah. You really don't need that. Uh, and again, these things, you see, a lot of the time in our parts of the world, we, we tend to overlook the psychology that emotions can, can bring about. He's obviously not acting in his right frame of mind. Mm. You could say that he, whether he's battling with depression or um, anxiety, whatever it is, it's a serious thing. So, first of all, go to the authorities and then maybe and, and through the conversation encourage him to seek some help from a professional. Because really, if he's not going to kill himself or kill you, we don't know what, yeah. what will happen yeah. next. Yeah. It, it's a scary situation that we shouldn't take for granted. It's not just about love. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crimes huh. of passion. Charlie, yeah. they're real. Yeah. Hey, today I'm asking a lot of questions. Because <laughs> I'm wondering... You're busy worried about this whole situation because your girlfriend, um, because of your girlfriend. Mm. My question is, how is your girlfriend reacting with all of this happening? You know, is she as worried as you are? Because mm. you can't do it alone because what are you personally complaining about? Mm. You need the support of your girlfriend. Your girlfriend has to be on the same page as you. If she's treating the whole thing with a pinch of salt because she's like, oh, Mijan, like I left him, he can't deal with it, end of. But you are sitting back and you're looking at the entire scenario and you're like, whoa, hold on, wait a minute. This guy is beginning to get all psycho right now. But you need to find out from her whether it's okay because you're not comfortable with all of this. You're not comfortable being in the middle of her mm. ex and herself. You know, and she has to appreciate where you are coming from to be able to address it. Just like Apioko said, you know, you need to report it, but you need your girlfriend to support you while you go out there to say, this guy is being a bit some way. I'm not comfortable with how he's reacting. If you don't have her support, then I, I'm not sure how quick your solution will be because then you just come across as another jealous 
boyfriend who can who is like because a girl would expect that oh i'm in a relationship with you what's what's your worry because this guy is done and dusted but mm. you have concerns so speak to her about it tell her where you're coming from and tell her that you're not comfortable with how your her, her ex is handling matters mm. but you think that you both need to work on it a step further you want to report it what does she think and then it will help you move forward right. in in your relationship so I agree with what Apioko said about the psychological mm -hmm. aspect of things because there are so many people walking around who have so many issues we can't mm. see and it's very difficult to know how to approach these kinds of situations. Um, I definitely think there is an element of emotional abuse or emotional blackmail, even though, yes, on one hand, he might be ill and he might have psychological issues. There are also some men or some people who take advantage of this whole narrative of having depression, of bipolar disorder, and will use that to their advantage and will use that to convince you that they're ill or they're going sick without you, I'm losing my mind, I'm going Dying. to my mom's house, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I actually dated a guy who said he had some, oh my goodness, MF is dating history. All, <laughs> all, all his symptoms, I, I, could not, I couldn't find what disease, what disease it was. He had nosebleeds, he, he had migraines, he would faint, he would throw up, he would send me a picture of the toilet, but there's no oh, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, yeah. No, 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 oh, wow. there was nothing in it, but he said, I just threw up, but I flushed it and sent me a picture of a clean toilet. There's some people who are that, you know, who are good, that, that manipulative, who yeah. are good that far to get you back because they absolutely want you back. So I think definitely, you know, just assess the situation. She's been with him before. She knows how he operates. If something feels a little off, mm -hmm. of course, reach out to the authorities, so on and so mm -hmm. forth. But don't, don't ignore the fact that he might just be doing this to get your attention because you're in a new relationship. So just mm -hmm. keep your eyes peeled and obviously have an expert on hand. Try and have a conversation with a psychologist, with a, with a police. Have a handy policeman on call just in case, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But definitely weigh up both sides. Right. I think the woman moved on because, I mean, basically she, she just didn't want to settle for less, for less or become sure. the guy's number two. Mm. So I commend her for doing that. Um, there's some women who are probably still stuck around yeah. in the name of love. Mm -hmm. I think she needs to sort of find a way to put her guy, her current guy's mind at ease. Nice. You know, because um, it, it can be quite disconcerting. Mm -hmm. And especially when this ex is going overboard and being in your face and acting all psycho. Mm -hmm. And that, see, those things are real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, like you will meet some person who will, like uh, um, Apioko said, put a knife to their throat and threaten, like, I'm going to kill myself if you <laughs> leave me today. Like, and, and, and please don't take those things for granted. They could sure, actually yeah. do yeah. it, depending on their mental state. Sure, yeah. You know, so find a way around it. But if, if push comes to shove, definitely get a restraining order. Else one day, he, he, he's actually going to hurt this other guy mm -hmm. yeah. who's supposedly taking the woman away from him. Mm -hmm. You know, so my guy, Charlie, don't, 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 don't play with this at all. It's mm -hmm. serious business. And um, I think you need to give it all the attention that it, you know, requires. Um, let's see if I can read a couple of messages here. This one says, I think you have to find out more about your girlfriend, you know, what the real issue is. Uh, for someone to divorce his wife who gave him two kids coupled with going to see her mother. My brother, there's more to this issue than you know. Take your time, study her all over again before settling down. You may be no different from this other man. Another says, please ask your girl whether or not she will accept this married man if he really divorced his wife to marry her. Secondly, let her finish all unfinished business with this said married man because it seems like there's more to the issue. Also note that a man desperate, uh, a man who's desperate can do anything at any time, so be careful with your life. Mm -hmm. Kofi says, I don't understand some men. What is your business wanting to deal with an issue which has nothing to do with you? Your partner is the problem, not the psychopath she's painting the married man to be. The bitter truth is she's enjoying and urging the man, the married man on. If not, she would have dealt with the issue the moment it started. Uh, I'm not so what? sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Charlene says, the only thing you can do is to leave her alone uh, to decide on which of you she wants to be with. If you, if you love your life, then stay far away before that obsessed man kills you. 
For him to be able to go to her mom means there's more to it. That man has invested something and is not willing to let go. Stay away. Bridget says, firstly, find out if the lady's really interested in the said man. If she has no interest, she should tell that liar of a man to go back to his wife and reconcile with her and stop bugging her. Mm -hmm. But if not, ah, forget this relationship before you regret later. Rosina says, you can't do much. Tell your lady stay away from her ex. Um, she should sever all contact with him. His obsession will make, uh, with her makes it more worrying. And those are a couple of your messages. Thank you for watching Sister Sister on your favorite city TV. Remember, it's every Friday night at 9 p.m. And well, if you want more exciting content, then please, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on that bell to receive notifications. One take. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite city TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates.